All right, it is getting on toward the end of June, and I've been working on this walkway down through here and some beds that will go in between these last two runs of dwarf apples. And here is a rock the size of a Volkswagen sticking out of the ground, just like you find all over the place in the Missouri northern Arkansas Ozarks and I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing to help with stones going into the terraces I'm building. I'm not building a terrace here exactly. These raised beds kind of work as a terrace but further down uh, toward uh, past the greenhouse I have a little terrace I'm working on down there plant some currants and gooseberries down there next year but i wanted to show you what i've been doing to help the rock so this is a pretty good rock it came off the top of this but i've been using this chisel which is actually a brick chisel but i'm using it for stone i'm not going to use it you know enough to wear it out in a real big hurry and should be using an actual stone chisel but it's what i got on accident Thought I was getting a stone chisel, got a brick chisel. And I can't get this part off. I don't know if that's just me or what. It's kind of in the way. But it's been working pretty good on this big chunk of limestone. I'm using a four-pound hammer, which I'm a pretty big fan of. Just trace your way around it. And I think this took me oh, maybe four minutes to split that. So... Now I have two pieces of rock that I can fit together a little bit better. And you can see that's not super clean. But I mean, it's pretty clean. For what I'm doing, it'll be okay. Uh, you can see there's all sorts of like weird cracks and runs in these rocks. But I already did the other side. Not this one. Uh, this side. And took a chunk down there to the terrace. And yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with doing things this way and getting stones that will fit a little bit better because whenever you're working on a wall like that, you can see I haven't got the soil built up behind there yet as much as I want. You can see daylight in between there and they're fitted together pretty well, but there's still some gaps in there and working the stones down into shapes more like this will help minimize that uh, just working with stones that aren't shaped at all so kind of graduating up to a little bit better version of the terraces that i'm working on we'll see if it's worth it later uh, after i get the next one built and it gets some uh, some time and some soil behind it we'll see if it's holding up better or if it's just the same as the ones that I don't do this at all. I'll do a comparison down the road. Anyway, uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you're not doing it all day, <laughs> just doing it after a long, hard day work, hard day of work, um, it's still nice to come out and <clears throat> smack some rocks and do it the way that old timers did it. And some of the professionals still uh, do this on job sites to a degree.